and welcome to all viewers. This is Bala from Gangbo.com. Today we are going to see about the topic Microsoft Dynamics Series. Before entering into the topic, we can see the agenda one by one. The first one will be what is Microsoft Dynamics Series, and second one will be the scope, and third one will be the roles and responsibilities, and fourth one will be the how to use the Microsoft Dynamics Series. So coming to the ERP product, most of the companies using the ERP product. Out of this ERP product, Microsoft will be the major role in the industry. So most of the companies using Microsoft Dynamics CX. So Microsoft Dynamics CX which come under the Microsoft ERP product. ERP is nothing but Enterprise Resource Planning. So coming to the Microsoft Dynamics CX, it is a powerful tool in the industry. So using this tool, they can automate the process and they can optimize the process and finally they can organize the process. So Microsoft Dynamics, it will be very easy and simple to use in the industry. Most of the companies are using the product, ERP product. Out of the companies, uh, more than around 30,000 companies are using this product in the software industry. So, out of the software industry, every company is this, using this product, right? So, in that product, every company having minimum at least like 50 to 200 employees in their company. And all employees are using this product. So this product will be very good in the market. That is the reason most of the companies are using this product and they can generate the revenue of around more than like 10 million to 200 million dollars. And finally I have to tell about the salary, right? Because everybody going for the salary, right? So the average salary for Microsoft Dynamics AX it's around 721k in INR. So thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Now let's see the training session of the video in detail. Last class everything you understood, right? Mm, yeah. Hello? Yeah. So what I do is, uh, hello? Yeah. Your voice is very slow, uh, means very low. Your voice is very low. One second, one second. Hello? Yeah, now it's better. So, do you have any doubts with last class? How to create tables? What are the methods in tables? All that? No, no. Okay. Um, can you take access and create a table and uh, see what, like how, how you create and how you want to practice it now? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So you want to practice like creating EDT, creating table, add, add how to add fields, all those things. Okay, okay I'll do. Uh, before that, you just uh, give me the brief uh, steps how to create the table by steps wise. I'll just write down the steps. So you didn't draw, wrote down last last class. No, I didn't write the last class. During that time, we could we did not uh, record it, right? No, last class, last class, I taught you about tables only, right? Tables no, last class, last class, we did about like up, right, uh, right, update. Okay, okay. We did coding thing. Okay. So, uh, to create a table, hello. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, to create a table. Go to AOT, Data Dictionary, Table, mm -hmm. and right click New Table. Okay. So once a table is created, give a name. What 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 is the table about? Once you give the name, uh, create the fields. Fields you can create it directly like this, or else uh, you can create it. The uh, when you create like this, then you have to come manually and give the extended data type property here so instead of that open this table like this and whatever edt like whatever fields you want in the table just you you will be having the standard edt if you don't find any standard edts you can create edt 
by right clicking and what type you want okay then if standard att is present then just drag that one and add it to the fields okay then field group is nothing but grouping of fields whatever is present in the table okay you can if there are standard field groups uh, and apart from that you also can create a new group and drag the fields whatever is there into the field group this is how we create a field group then index index is nothing but if you want to maintain unit you unique record in your table then you create a index if you say this property allow duplicates no then that will be the unique and index if you say allow duplicates yes then it will become a non unique index okay um, we have something called cluster index cluster index means if you have some field in your table then you enter the data randomly like name name or uh, field on you take it so you will enter randomly not in a alphabetical order like uh, just like uh, randomly some names first first name you will enter starting from y and second you will enter uh, starting from s yes, all those things so when you create cluster index cluster index is also a non unique index okay what the non unique index whatever you created right that is a cluster index But once you create the index and drag the name field inside the index then it will make you make the arrangement of uh, data like whatever you have entered the names right will arrange the uh, names in alphabetical order physical order like starts from a like that so that you can see it on database okay then we have something called full text index which will be used to search the large data faster okay just you create new full text index and whatever full text index you add it right that should be a string field only string fields can be added on the full text index you cannot add the uh, integer all those things in full text index and relations relation we create by right clicking this so we have four kind of relation one is normal field fix related field fix and then foreign key uh, normal relation when we know which field is to be linked to which field of the uh, table we are relating then we use normal relation field fix and related field fix means uh, we we will be using those relations on enum field like if i want data only uh, if i have three tables player table tennis player table and cricketer table if i if i want to get data only from tennis player table then i will be creating a, a relation Later. with yeah and in after creating the relation i will be giving the value here the enum whatever i create right so enum 10 if tennis is having zero value i will give zero otherwise one like that okay foreign key means when you create foreign key relation so automatically one field will get uh, created in the table in, in the child table in the child table okay so that field will be storing the rec id of the table which you are relating that is a foreign key relation work delete action means if you want to if you have two table parent table and the child table and if if both the tables will be having same record then if you go and delete any record in the parent table okay then i it should delete the record from child table also or when you are deleting it should give you a message telling that reference already present in some other table delete there and come again come and delete here like it will not allow you to delete the reference data whichever present in the table which i am giving in delete action okay and methods methods will be used to uh, do some action on the particular table like we have init value modified field write method update method insert method then validate field validate write and validate delete this hello yeah okay uh, you you can take the control and you can create that uh, table just join 
will be a practice for you no okay for math methods and relation i didn't send any document right only till indexes i have sent only till index i sent or till field the creation of table no creation of table i didn't get any document okay so once the class completes then i will send methods and everything so you can take the control so how do i take that check whether you get the access how to no no i gave already can you uh, i have given keyboard and mouse okay now you just drag the uh, mouse or something on your keyboard so you can do it right okay so i'm clicking this access right yeah yeah so i should go here and right click for new table mm -hmm. just minimize this okay so i should click here mm, give some name what table you want to create like okay create some player table like which will contain the player details is this okay no uh, tab table should it should end with table like player table with the name table and t should be the capital one okay yeah so i should just press enter or leave it So I can give string as a field, right? Yeah. See, if you give like this, then you have to come manually select the EDT property. So instead, drag the field from EDT. So I should search for name. Hmm. Okay. So just type name. Name. No, no. Just click on the first one. Mm -hmm. First one. Type name. Mm -hmm.
I can rename it as player name, right? Hmm. I'm getting an error. And now what I should do? Now add other fields, what and all required for the player table. Player name you added, player ID. <coughs> so for adding player age we don't have any extended uh, default right yeah so what you have to do we can add it manually so you can you have to create new edt and add it Player ID should be integer. It should be an integer no, one or no? I am adding player age. Age, okay. Then uh, age means all integers. Uh, edt is already there. You can type integer. So I can remove this, right? Yeah, yeah. Delete. This one is the yeah, yeah. So space is not allowed in the name? No, no. Only underscore. Uh, only underscore is I So this is also I'll save it. Okay. So for player ID, what I should give? String. You have to create string. Since player ID is not there, mm -hmm. EDT, you have to create your own EDT. So for uh, strings, we don't have uh, standard EDT. It's there, but you can use that one or you can create a new EDT and add. So I should save it here. Hmm. Yeah. Click Pop no. Message. Click no. So what else inside now? Player type, player type. So player type should be tennis player or cricket player. Okay. 
So what or what will you create? You will create EDT or I can create enum, right? Yeah. So where where will you create enum? Here only we can create. No, no. Before that, where you have to create? You have see if you create there. You need to attach the enum. Enum property will be there, right? For enum also, yeah. property will be there. You have to attach. What okay. what will you attach? So how to create enum? I forgot that. No, just just look it to AOT. You will find it. We have base enums. Hmm. So this base enum will be like the enum base. If you create it from the EDT, EDT enum, uh, it will be uh, the extended type for that EDT enum will be EDT again. So only in uh, that EDT enum you should not create. You should create the base enum. Okay, so already standard uh, base enum will be available, or we need to create? No, you have to create. I can name it as player type, right? Mm -hmm. So one more thing is when you are naming the EDT, right? So you should always what you have started here the naming convention with CRI. So when you are creating any EDT enum any objects related to this project, okay, you need to uh, name with you should name with CRI only. So okay. when you add the same EDT into your into this table, then you can remove the CRI. Okay, only player ID, player name you should give. And before, okay, now uh, you add it, right? Okay, add it. So you add two enums called uh, tennis, tennis, and cricket. No, you you didn't add you uh, you you didn't add the elements. No, uh, we can add it after placing here, right? No, no. First you need to add, then you have to place it. Once you place it, you cannot add it. Okay. Label what to set you? Um, same tennis player. How will you give give me label? Is this the best practice for giving the label? No, that's what I am. I can make it with you. No, no. So be before creating label, what you have to do? You have to generate the label, right? Label how will you generate it? Yeah, how will you do that? Right, we need to see mm -hmm. the yeah. This one, 
Yeah. And then give the same name, CRI something. Player type, okay. The element you pick. I need to create it, right? No, before that you need to do uh, you need you need to know whether you whatever ID you have selected mm. whatever you have created or have you selected that or not. So you have to select the one. Okay, then come and give the name here. Tennis. No, first give give the name. Okay. First give the name and click on you. The same will get added here. Okay. Give it. After this, I need to click new. Yeah. Then click save. Control is. Okay. Now paste the label. Down, down. So this one down. is the label ID, right? Yeah. So click on the paste label. So your label ID got added. But when you uh, place a cursor on label, you can see the word. Tennis. See. If you place it, you can see ID. If you come out, then you can see name. Okay. Now create that over. For this label directly, we can search for the label ID, right? You, if if it's there first, click that one. Click this one. Okay. So first, you have to give your cricket. Okay. After okay. giving cricket, click this one. This is a search button. If it if you found that, then paste the label. If you didn't find it. Then click new. So new label ID will be created. Save. Now add this enum to your table. So uh, before that, I need to save the uh, yeah, base enum. I need to place it in fields. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to add. 
now create a okay play salary field salary create salary don't don't create the same way how you added this one same way you search for edt so salary is amount integer. right yeah integer in integer or it can be amount also so search for that okay. You have you should not give like half words. You should give full word salary. Now create one field group. Okay, add player name and ID into that. Player detail. So give name as player detail. Add player ID and player name. I need to drag and put it in player yeah. details, right? Yeah. Now, um, which field should be the unique index in this table? Which field do you think? Player ID should be unique index. <laughs> okay. Create a index on that one. Need to clear here or here? Where? Index. Hmm. There only. Give give name from that index. What what name you you have to give? Need to give player ID only. Hmm. Player ID with the naming convention. Underscore IDX. IDX capital or small? Yeah, small, small. IDX with index. Okay. I need to give it no. Yeah. I'll save right now. What you have to do, you have created the index, then I need to place it mm. in place. Right? Mm, yeah. So, I need to place it in fields or in field group. No, no, field group is different. Index is different. So you created field group, right? Then close it, collapse it. Now, next is index. So now you created an index. Now, what you have to do after creating the index? So I need to place it in player ID. Yeah. 
No, no. Just drag this player ID, place it in index. Okay. So now create a relation. Uh, okay. I will I go to EDT, add perch ID, add perch ID field into the table. Purchase ID. Yep, this one purchase order ID is there, no? This one, okay. Okay, no. Yeah, added. So now what you have to do is create a relation, normal relation between your CRI player table and purchase table. <coughs> what name can I give? No, first select the table. And the same table name, you can paste it on name. Table name should be Fudge table. Here, here, in the property. Type Fudge table. You can type the uh, full right yeah, table come. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do. This one? Yeah. So same, you can select, copy that one, paste it on name. So now create a normal relation to purchase order ID. So there is there is a field called purchase ID in purchase table. So that field you have to link it to purchase order ID in your table. Sorry, go to EDT and no, no, no. You are, you have to create a relation. How will how you have created the relation? Now, how will you add the field into the relation? You are right. So those are all just properties. Those are all properties. How will you add field? How how, do, how I showed uh, what are the types of relation? How we'll get how we will get it? Normal relation, no. which relation we will we select rela relations, right? How that normal field fix everything came? No, first we need to go to the purchase table and select the field of purchase order ID and place it in relation, right? No, no. Huh? Just right click this one, new. See, you will be finding four relations. You are giving relation in your current table, right? In this mm -hmm. table, you are giving the relation. If you go to perch table, with perch table, you can give relation, but not in your table. If you want to give relation in your, your table, you have added, right, which table. Mm -hmm. Then the next step is to have a, add a relation. That means okay. which field I want to connect. Okay. I need to hmm. select 
select the fields. Purch ID should be related to your purchase order ID. Hello? Hello? Hmm. 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 Hello? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Relate a uh, purchase ID to purchase order ID field of your table. So we need to take it from. No, you created this one more. Normal. This is normal relation, right? Hmm. So you have to relate the field here which we this is your table and the related field will be from your related table player id not player id purchase order id huh? yeah when you are giving a relation right so both the table should contain same field same field in the sense maybe the same name can be different but the EDT should be same for both the tables. Means the field should have same EDT. Only those fields you can relate. It. You cannot relate other fields. Okay. See, but we have created player tables, right? So how is player table related to purchase order and we are? Uh, no, I just I'm just tell, I'm just telling. See, for player table, we don't have related table. Okay, then you have to create all those tables. So I'm just telling you to create a relation. Okay. Not source ID, related field. Only field and related field. So it is already created. Related field is search ID. Mm, okay. Same. Delete action, uh, you know, right? Mm. So, okay. create on punch table only. Just type patch table, it will come. Now type patch table. Okay. Not, not this one. Cascaded or really? Yeah, it's restricted. restricted. And I should save it. Yeah. Okay, now open. Open the table and check whether relations everything has come properly and the enum enum field everything for yellow button so create one record and see whether enum relation has come properly or not You can maximize this one. Just try. There it is. 
page. Okay, no? Just speed in up. So I didn't purchase other ID. We got the solution. Okay. Now um in play uh, salary yes, salary i want to uh, whenever you create new record right salary should be defaulted as 10000 so where will you write the code so we need to write as uh, initial right int init 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 value so how will you write that code we will write in methods. Mm, okay. So let this be open or? Yeah, close it too. You have to uh, select new method or override method. Unit value is a standard method or? User. That is standard method. So this one. Okay. Here, yeah, how I need to do mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. After super, click here. Okay, now you want to update uh, salary, uh, salary, salary as, as 10,000. So how will you write the code? This dot. <coughs> hmm? What is that field name? Salary field. Hmm. So we need to click or enter? Mm, click, click, click that one. I clicked it. Double click. Okay. We need to give is equal to? Yeah. So whenever you are assigning value, right, you should mm -hmm. press tab. So one tab space will come. After that, you have to assign the value. There should be a one tap space between is equal to and uh, the next. Okay. So I need to put 10,000. Yeah. So salary is integer field, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are passing, if you are assigning integer, you will directly give it, okay? Then you need to end the statement by semicolon. If it is integer, directly will pass it. If you are, if it is string, then you will pass using double quotes. Double. Okay. Now this is not saved. You can use this is only for saving. So there is something called compile. Compile, compile means. It will check the error and save it both together. Now close it. Now open this one and create a new record. Yeah. default at right yeah. okay now if i if after modification of player or player or, uh, purchase order i want yeah. to update this name in player table well where will you write the code in which method you will write we can write in uh, insert method mm -hmm. no on on changing this purchase order i want to update player name Okay. Where, where we will write the code. Insert method is used to 
so i am modifying this one okay if okay. i change this one i need to update this name in clear name field where will where we will write the code validate right validate right means what what does what does validate right will do it will validate the, validate the record when you are saving it hmm. Mm -hmm. validate means it will check whether the value entered is correct or not that means valid validation it is doing the validation now i am not validating i am selecting this one i am doing some modification to this field I, when i do that i need to update this, this name i need to update i need to perform some operation that means i need to update this name in player name field where i will okay. write code we can write in update method no see i am modifying this one when i am modifying this one i need to up update this field means i have to write in modify field method that means i am modifying this field so when i modify this field i need to update this one update method where, where where you will when you will write the code is if record already exists i need to update 10000 as 20000 then you will write the code in update method if if i am modify modifying some field on modification of this field i need to update some other field means then you will write code in modify field method when you are updating you will not modify anything But here I'm modifying this field, right? So you have, you have to write in modified field method. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Till now, you uh, till this you have understood, right? How to create the table, yeah. all those things. Or still you have any doubt? No, I got it now. Like it was. Uh, I understood clearly now. Once I tried. Okay. From from today, what we'll do? I will whatever I explain, right? So yeah. next class you have to create. I will not tell you how to create all those things. You have to create. Even though it is wrong, that's okay. You have to create. Okay. So I'll send you the methods like uh, what the important methods for the table. You you can go through that. Okay. okay now in today's class we'll discuss about views okay so after views i'll come to maps mm. view is nothing but a table like collection of more one or more than one table is called view the name itself will tell that view means you you can just view the data but you cannot do any action like insertion or update or delete deleting or editing nothing you can do with the view you can just view the records so how we will create view is so view means we are combining two two different tables more than one tables together and uh, we are viewing the data what is the use of view is like i have two different tables like tennis we'll take this example only tennis table cricket player table okay and this two will be having the relation this two tables will be having the relation and this this table will be having different field okay uh, like tennis player age and in tennis team uh, team size something team size then name like this so in cricket player also we will be having age cricket player age then uh, size cricket team size then name okay now <clears throat> if i create view using these two tables okay if i if now i suppose i have created this table i have created two different tables if i want to view cricket player data then i have to open the cricket player table then i can see what are the fields and data in cricket player table if i want to view tennis player table 
tennis player details then i will open tennis player table and only data related to tennis player i can see so i cannot see both the data means both table uh, fields and data in the single shot i cannot see for that purpose what i will do i will create a view where view is a virtual table virtual table means it is like a uh, behind table where you cannot do it is like a you you know virtual meaning like like yeah, it yeah, will be there but it is not but it is not that useful so what it will do is it is a virtual table where you just can view, view the data but you cannot do any insertion updation or addition of edit of records anything so i will combine this fields from both the table and i will just view the data that is the use of view okay so and you can view uh, you can use this views in your code and when you are running the report or when you are uh, doing any operation related to code level you can use this views okay, okay. so how to create viewers click new view okay okay w once the view is created give the name student view or player view okay <clears throat> now i have created the view then in metadata metadata is nothing but the data source which is storing the which is which is combining to give the view so i will add this data source okay now okay. inside this data source there is one more option called data source if i add data source here then it will come here those two tables i will be using okay if i add inside this data source then this data source is related to this table so i will be adding purchase table since i have already created purchase purchase uh, purchase table relation i will be adding this into this data source okay now i have combined two different data source to form a view now in the field so i have two tables right here so whatever field i want i will just add drag and drop it here and from here i will select and from here i will select so uh, just open this new window and then you can drag the patch id so whatever fields you want you can just add it into the field section okay yes. so now i am combining two field section of view see this is metadata metadata is a data source which you add it into inside the view okay so once that is uh, finished you will add the data source and for that data source you will add one more data source which you want to combine which you want to relate okay, okay. two tables or if you table. yeah so if you want to add one more table then you can add it here in the metadata metadata itself okay so yeah, i have one out here one okay only one you can add it but inside this you can add my other data source okay once you add it Okay, I'll ask the doubt. What doubt you have? See, we have two data sources. Right? Mm -hmm. One is main data mm -hmm. source of metadata, mm -hmm. and one more is uh, data source of player table which we are created. Yeah. So yeah. this means uh, when we are uh, opening the player table, we can view the purchase table details, right? Yeah. So, so from both the table. That is a difference of two data sources. Hello. 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 Hello.
हेलो 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 या यू कैन हियर मी राइट या नाउ आई कैन हेलो हेलो या
Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, can you give me access to share the screen? Yeah. So you can see my screen, right? You can see my screen, but no, still it's okay. <laughs> So view what basically it will do is when I open purchase table, only purchase related data I can see. When I open player table, only player related data I can see. So if I want to combine both the table, then I can access fields from this table also and I can access fields from purchase table also. So I have combined here. This is the data source, right? This is the combined combination of the fields. Okay. Then in after I, after I add the data source in metadata, then I will come here and I will just add the fields whatever I require from these two tables. Okay. These two tables. Okay. Then once I add it and click, click on open. See, I can see both tables fields player id player id from player table player name from player table and mm. purchase id all these things from mm. this table okay this is what you will do basically but what we is can't you can't edit or delete the record you cannot edit or you cannot see new option is disabled you cannot edit you cannot add you cannot delete nothing you can do here Okay. It's just only view means what just view purpose. You cannot do anything. So and the data, whatever is coming here, right? In the view, that is coming from the table. Whatever you added here, whatever the data is stored in this table will okay. come into the view. Okay. And if you want to add any range, range means if range will be added for filtration purpose. Like okay. I want to display only this particular record. Mm -hmm. Okay. New range. If I want to display only this particular record, I want to display uh, only the na uh, name, whichever field you want to display, means whichever field, like player ID, I will select. I want to display only one to one. Player ID number will be there, right? One yeah, to yeah. one, one to three. Only that player ID I want to display. That time you will add a range. And in the value, you will give that value, which value you want to display when you open the view. Okay, this is how we give the ranges. And group by. Group by means on what, on what field you want to group by the details on player name. Group by means it will group into one particular data. Okay, it will group, uh, group the data. So that we, for that, we will use group by. Then having means whichever is having, is this name is having some 
like uh, names you will give right if this field the name field contains some name like sagar or sachin something then we will add that into having clause so order by means i want to order it by ascending order or descending order then we will create a order by on which field you you want to create then you will select ascending or descending so this is how we will filter the data in view okay, okay. so and field group is also same like uh, how we created in uh, table okay and we have method so as i said we cannot add any data uh, any table as record or any you cannot edit or you cannot create but with using the method you can add records on views like you have the same methods like insert method init value all these things using this methods you can insert or write anything on the views okay but directly as how we create record in table we cannot do like that on views okay so this is also it looks like table only but this is a virtual table it's uh, the normal table what we create is regular table okay so this is a virtual table so we use the views for in coding level if you want anything if you want to combine uh, two different tables then we will use uh, if i have some similar tables okay four similar tables where four or four tables are different okay so now i want to combine this four detail four tables and i want to display some fields whichever i require from four tables on one uh, as one table so that time i will be using a view Okay. <laughs> so the if you want to add the third table, we need to add it on the secondary data source, right? Yeah, Second yeah, data yeah, yeah. Here that you are good. Okay. On mm -hmm. first, it is not possible. Under metadata, yeah. it is not possible. Mm -hmm. You have to add. See, once you add it, right? Once you add it, see. Mm -hmm. Now I will delete this one. Now. new data source will be avail available this button so once you add it that will go okay in the same way when you add the data source inside the table then it will go so only one uh, data source you can add it okay so where how can i add the third table so now you have created one data source Huh? then inside that you will go and create so once you create you cannot add one more data source again inside 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 it will be there okay, okay. so again if you want to add again go inside add like this inside inside you have to okay so we will end it up here so tomorrow so i will give you half 15 minutes okay you have to create one view then you will understand so then we'll continue with further topics okay okay okay, okay. thank you For more videos, just subscribe to our Gangboard channel and click the bell icon to get instant notification.